Hi, I'm Aaron, and I'm with Tuva Health, and we're the company behind the Tuva project. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can transform your raw Medicare claims data into the Tuva claims input layer format. First, I want to tell you a little bit about the Tuva project. The Tuva project is essentially a set of open source reusable building blocks that healthcare data teams can use to clean, transform, and enrich their raw healthcare data so that it's ready for analytics and machine learning. And each of these building blocks is designed to work in a really similar way, even though they do different things. So whether you're trying to profile your claims data for data quality issues or group claims into encounters or encounters into episodes or calculate readmission measures, they all kind of work the same way. So to get started with this demo where we're going to demonstrate how you can um, use our um, Medicare CCLF connector to transform your raw claims data into the into the Tuva claims input layer. Um, I'm first going to show you where I got the data for this demo. And the data came from a company called Syntegra that we partnered with a few weeks ago to release some free and open synthetic healthcare data sets in, in common formats. And one of those formats was the Medicare claims data. So you can go to Syntegra.io, click the Try Syntegra Data button in the top right, fill out a quick form, and download this, this Medicare CCLF claims data. I've already done that, and I've already loaded that data into a Snowflake instance in a database called, if I can scroll up, Syntegra Synthetic Sample in a schema called CCLF. So these tables, beneficiary demographics, part A claims header, et cetera, these are the tables that you would um, be get, that if you were getting uh, raw claims files from CMS, you would be getting files just like this. And so I've already taken the step of loading this data into our Snowflake instance. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to the Tuva Project GitHub page and I'm going to clone, I'm gonna find and clone the Medicare CCLF connector. So copy that. I have a little demo uh, folder where I wanna do all this in. So I'm gonna say git clone. Great, and so now that whole DBT project um, in the Med Medicare CCLF connector, like every other component of the Tuva project, is a DBT project. Now that um, DBT project is in my local environment, and I can go check it out, and I can look at all the models. But basically what it's doing is it's, it's pointing to that standard Medicare claims data model, and it's transforming it into the Tuva input layer so that... Um, uh, now, after that, after the data is in the tube input layer, I can run any of these downstream pieces pretty much automatically. But the point of this is just to show you how to run this one component. So now that I've got that locally, the only thing I need to do is is run dbt build. But I need to tell dbt um, exactly where the source data is. And so to do that, uh, we use variables. And so each each of each Tuva project dbt package. Um, you need to tell, before you run it, you need to tell dbt where the input database is, where the input schema is, and, and in my case, it's in this database called Syntegra Synthetic Sample in the CCLS schema, CCLF schema, and then I need to tell where I want to write the output tables to that come out of the project when I run it. In this case, I'm gonna write all the data to this output database called demo and an output schema called claims input layer, but you could call these things whatever you want. And I need to create that database first because I don't have a demo database. So let's create database demo, run that. Let's check it out, boom. Okay, there's no data in here. All right, now I'm ready to copy and paste this command. And I, need, I do need to CD into the dbt package, package itself in order to run it. Copy and paste that, hit enter. It's gonna run uh, the project and it's gonna transform my raw Medicare claims data into the Tuva claims input layer format. This takes about 20 seconds. There's 15 views and, and tables 
and or tables that get created as a result of this uh, in this package. And um, yeah, once it's run, uh, we'll go take a look at it in Snowflake. So it looks like it's just gonna take another couple seconds. Cool, that's done. Let's go check out Snowflake and see what the data looks like. All right, now I've got, now you can see in the demo database, I've got a claims input layer schema and I've got a couple of tables, eligibility and medical claim. These are the main output tables uh, from this project. I've also got all the other views that were kind of intermediate transformation steps and I can query the data if I want. Select star from demo.claims input layer, come on, where's my autocomplete, dot uh, eligibility, limit 20, let's see what it looks like. Boom, there's all the data. And the other nice thing about DBT that you probably know, I can easily generate the docs for this, DBT docs generate, and this makes it pretty easy to look at the DAG or the graph of, of what data processing was actually done. Um, so we can check that out too real quick. DBT docs serve. This is going to pull all that up in my web browser. And this is kind of the boilerplate DBT documentation that comes with the package. I can click this green button in the lower right to look at the lineage graph, also known as a DAG. And all the green tables here are just the source Medicare claims tables. And all the blue things are either transformation steps or, or the actual output tables. Um, the output tables, again, being eligibility and medical claim. So that's it. I showed you how to run the Medicare CCLF um, DBT project from the Tuva project. Thanks for watching.